welcome to Signing with Sayla. This is my mom, Brooke, and I'm Sayla. Today, our myth is that deaf people are skilled at lip reading. Is that true? Well, each deaf person is different, so it kind of depends on the person. The average is about 30% accuracy. So what that means is if a deaf person is talking to me and says about 10 words, I can catch about three of those words. Yeah, so is that a lot of words? Three? No. No, it's not a lot of words. So what's a better solution? The best solution is to sign, right? So deaf people, there is a variety of deaf people and how they communicate, but most of the time, we think that signing is the best. So, yes, yeah, signing is better. So, are you ready for our topic today? What are we doing? Our topic today is everyday routines or daily routines. So things we do in the morning, the afternoon, and in the evening or night. All right, so let's get started. We are so excited. So, we will start with morning routines. So our first word is wake up, wake up. So you'll see like your eyes are opening, your fingers are making the shape of your eyes opening, just like that. And you need the expression too. Yeah, we won't do like wake up, right? Wake up, wake up. Yep, we need to include expression. Our next word is bathroom. So you're just gonna take your hand and place your thumb between your index and middle finger. You're gonna make a T hand shape and you're gonna shake it side to side, not around, right? Not around, it just goes side to side, bathroom. Our next one is washing our hands. That's really important after the bathroom, yes. right? Really, really important, yeah. Ooh, so important, yes. <laughs> so you're just gonna kind of, it looks like how you're washing your hands. You're just gonna put your hands together, yeah. And I sign, wash your hands like this. Wash your hands, wash your hands, but yeah, it depends. But it, you're really just showing what it looks like. Yeah, really, that's what it is. <laughs> Our next word is brushing your teeth. So it looks like your toothbrush, like the shape of the toothbrush is your index finger and you're just moving it across your face, brushing your teeth. Yeah, and you'll show your teeth too. Yeah, make sure you, you know, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. You just show your teeth, <laughs> brush your teeth. All right, our next one is wash your face or wash your face. You can sign it either way. So you're just gonna take your hands and it just looks like you're washing your face or you can close your hands together like the A hand shape and yes, you'll just kind of scrub your face like that. Pretty good, yep. Our next word is comb or brush your hair. So you're gonna make like a hand, an A hand shape and you're just gonna, it looks like they're holding the brush, right? Yeah, so they're just holding the brush, or if you're a man and you're gonna comb your hair, it looks like the shape of the um, teeth on the brush and you're just kinda gonna comb it. Do men comb their hair down here? No. I mean, sometimes, depends on the man, if he has long hair, maybe. But yeah, be like comb, comb, comb. <laughs> it's hard to imagine what that would be like because both of us have longer hair. So when I brush my hair, it's not like brush. It'd be kind of weird, right? Yeah. All right. Sometimes I forget, she said. <laughs> All right, our next one is get dressed. So you're gonna open up your hands and your thumbs are gonna touch your chest and just kind of slide down. It's similar to the sign for dress. So yeah, so the difference is like dress comes all the way down and then get dressed kind of just stays in this area. Get dressed. Like your shirt, not a dress. Yeah. Get dressed. Or some people say get dressed. Get dressed or get dressed. Yep. Either way. Our next one is put on your shoes. So it, you're gonna hold your hands. It looks like the shape of your foot going into the shoe. So you're just gonna slide one hand into the other for put on, and then this is the sign for shoes. Yeah, so shoes, and I tend to sign shoes and then put on. So put on shoes is really shoes, put them on. So they know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Shoes, put on, or put on shoes. Our next one, and hey, 
slow it down for our friends at home. You are skilled. They, they're learning. Remember? <laughs> Put on a hat. So you're just gonna kind of pull it down over your ears. This depends on the hat. Right, right, right. So if you have a baseball cap, you might put it on like this. Or there's only, there's only two I can think of, she says. Um, well, maybe like cowboy hat. <laughs> it's the only other kind I can think of right now. But yeah, so cowboy hat or a 10 gal, a 10 gallon hat is what it's called. And then what's the sign for hat? Hat, yeah, hat is like this, and then yeah, so this would be like a, a beanie, <laughs> oh, bless you. So a beanie we would pull down, a baseball cap we would put on, and a 10 gallon hat maybe like this, yeah. All right, and then with that, they would need gloves, yep. So you're just gonna, you're gonna show your hands like this, and it just looks like the shape, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. So you're just gonna put one on and then the other. Yep, so like you're pulling it down over one hand and then pulling the other. When it's fast, it's, it's hard to catch it when it's signed fast. But yeah, gloves. Yep, just like this, gloves. <laughs> Our next word is put on a jacket or a coat. Yep. So you're gonna take that. So if it's like a thin jacket, you're just gonna kind of pull it over like this. But if it's a thick jacket, you're gonna put it over like this. Yeah, and you're showing that it's kind of heavy. Oh. Yeah. So you can sign jacket or jacket. Mm -hmm. Or jacket or coat. <laughs> Our next one <laughs> is breakfast. It's food in the morning. <laughs> so I always sign that backwards. Yes, so breakfast is food in the morning. So food, so you're gonna make this shape with your hand and like you're putting food in your mouth and then you're gonna place your non-dominant hand. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm slow. You're gonna place your non-dominant hands in between your other, where your elbow is at, and then your dominant hand comes up. So for me, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna sign morning this way. But for you, show yours. So she's left-handed, so hers is gonna be her left hand coming up. So breakfast, like this. Food in the morning, breakfast. <laughs> Our next one is medicine, or take medicine. Take medicine, yeah. But it depends on the medicine, right? Well, yeah, it depends. So if it's a pill, then I'm gonna take it like this, take medicine. If it's a shot, what do I do? Yeah, it would be like a shot, okay? If it's like eye drops, yeah, medicine. It just, it de yeah, depends on the kind of medicine. This is the sign for medicine, medicine. And then, yeah, it would either take it you're gonna pop it in your mouth or you're gonna drop it in your eyes. You know the little squeezy part that drops it out? Yeah, you're gonna drop it in your eyes or you're gonna take a shot. So you're, it makes like a K hand shape and it's just like it's going in like a shot. Mm -hmm. So there are different kinds, different, different ways to take medicine. Yeah, so you're just gonna show what it looks like and then medicine. get your backpack so forget you're gonna put your dominant hand on top and you're just gonna kind of pull them together towards yourself yep and then you know how there's straps on backpacks that you wear so it's like you're holding those straps so get your backpack I've also seen other people will sign backpack like this because the straps too so backpack or backpack mm -hmm. yeah good job get your lunch box <laughs> lunch <laughs> it's hard i know it's hard see sometimes you know we're learning too that's fine i it's okay so get and then 
food at noon, okay, is lunch, so food at noon, and then bag or box. Yeah, depending on the kind that they have, it would be a bag or a box, which is like you're making a square with your hands. She says, also the sign for room. Yep. It depends on what you're talking about. Yep. Context is important. So if I'm talking about my a teddy bear in my room or I brought my lunch box. Yeah, exactly. You, you wouldn't say I brought my lunch room. That'd be kind of hard, right? <laughs> Too heavy. <laughs> yes. So it depends on what you're talking about. So the next one is ride the bus. So you're going to make with your non-dominant hand, make like almost like a C shape. And then this looks, this is like a person's legs sitting in the car and then they're going to move forward. So this is ride. And then bus, we finger spell B U S. So this is the B U. And so you're just going to take those three fingers and put them down to make the U and then the S goes into like a fist. Yes. So signed quickly looks like this bus bus. Yep. Yeah, and then this, is this a sign for specifically buses, like riding a bus, or is it just all riding? Yeah, so if we're riding in a car, oh, well, that one's different actually. Riding a bike would be like riding, yeah, but that's okay, <laughs> riding a bike, but that's okay. We'll, we'll get there, we'll get, that's the afternoon. We're not yet there yet, not yet to the routines in the afternoon. She said, sorry, sorry, that's fine, it's fine. So riding in a car or car, Riding in a van, riding in a the many a truck, yeah. But this is the sign for like if you're sitting in it and you're riding, yeah. Right, right, right. Just clearing it up. <laughs> she said, okay. Yeah. All right, go to school. So you're gonna sign with your two index fingers, just kind of going whichever direction you're going. Mm -hmm. It's directional, so it just depends on where your school is or where the door is that you're going to be leaving out of. So go is like this, and then school is like this. So your dominant hand, your dominant hand is going to be on top, bouncing on top of the other one. She said, I was thinking, is it this way or this way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to go to school. Yep. For adults, <laughs> we're going to work. Right, so this, again, you're signing go, and then work is like this. So you're gonna make two fists with your hands, <laughs> like two of the S shape, and then your dominant, your dominant hand goes on top and bounces, like school, just same as work. It bounces, and it's just a different hand shape. Work in school. So go to work, yes, go to work. <laughs> all right, I think that's all of our morning ones, right? So now next is afternoon afternoon and afternoon is signed like this so when we think about morning afternoon and night yes it represents the sun coming up and then going back down so afternoon is signed like this because the sun isn't all the way down yet but it's going down yes and then night the sun is is down so night yep are you ready all right, <laughs> so lunch, finally I got it, lunch. So you're gonna sign food or eat, and then this is signed for noon, so you're eating at noon. Yeah, and why is this, why is it up? Because the sun is straight up in the sky, yep. At noon, the sun is up, it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I guess it depends on the specific time you eat. I tend to eat kind of late. She won't tell the sun. <laughs> she loves my jokes. She's the only person who loves my jokes. Okay. All right, our next one is snack. Hmm? So you're gonna take your finger like this, kind of like how we sign taking medicine when you're taking a pill, but obviously it's different. Yeah, because context is important, right? We're talking about now is food, snacks, right? So snack, we're signing the same way. So imagine like grapes and you're just kind of popping them into your mouth. Snack, just like this. And then there's another way that people will sign is snack. Snack too. So 
snack and snack. Back of snack. Who said like a cracker? Like you're putting in your mouth? Yeah. Do you know that in Arizona, I think it's Arizona, the sign for cookie is cookie. Yeah. Yeah, that is cool, right? Oh, here's a fun fact for you guys. Signs are regional, which means there are different signs in different parts of the country. She said like in California, where she used to live, where I grew up, they sign brown like this. Mm -hmm. But here in Kansas, we notice that people will sign brown like this. Yes, brown. If I sign brown, pe people here still understand brown, but more commonly is they'll sign brown like this. Yeah, it is interesting. But yeah, so cookie is like California, Kansas, like what we would sign is cookie. But then yeah, cookie, I recently learned that one. It's cool, mm -hmm. that's cool, cookie. But anyways, sorry, so snack. <laughs> that was a rabbit trail. <laughs> All right, our next one is nap. It's a very dramatic nap. Oh my goodness. Wow. She really enjoys those naps. <laughs> so you're going to take your hand like this, and your eyes are going to close while you sign this. So nap, which this is really the sign for what other word? Sleep. Yep. So signs are related to concepts, not words. So the, con the concept of closing your eyes and sleeping, the sign is like this. So if I'm talking about a nap and I say, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right now and take a nap and it's two in the afternoon, you know I don't mean like sleep all night, right? I mean, oh man, do I wish I could, yes. <laughs> but really you would know from again, context concept is that it's it's a nap i'm not going to sleep for eight hours at two o'clock i could wake up at 10 and i'd be awake all night that would be terrible anyways so nap or sleep yep our next one is go home <laughs> so you're gonna sign go like this and then home why was your face like that what happened well why are we taking a nap at school? Well, she said, why are we taking a nap at school? Well, it depends. So, so some people are going to school, yes, but like think about if they're three or four, they're not going to school. Also, kindergarten kids do take naps at school. So I, I wanted to add in nap, but I was trying to figure out where in like the schedule where to put it and I I chose wrong I guess but you can nap at school so but understand it your school middle school we do not nap yes big trouble big trouble no but people do nap at school sometimes or other people that don't go to school will nap maybe but yes so sorry so back to going home go is like how we did before and then home is the same shape as eating and then we go Home, yeah, where your mouth and your ear, home. Or you can sign house. Yeah, it depends. So house is like generic. So like everybody in our neighborhood, they have a house. But home, it, it means mine. Or if I'm talking about your home, be your home. So I, it's more specific to who I'm talking about. Yeah, but you can, you can sign home or house depending on which one yep all right also i prefer instead of go i sign go oh, yeah. as in like leave so like if i'm working and i'm ready to go home i will sign i'm going home like i'm leaving for home yep make sense cool all right our next one is arrive at home or get to home so your non-dominant hand lays flat and your dominant hand is going to, sorry, so you can spell it again? Arrive or, yeah, arrive or get to. Yep, so this can mean arrive or get to. And it's just, yeah, it's just landing there. So arrive home, mm -hmm. right. Next. <laughs> All right, our next one is homework. Boo, it's good for you. But I don't like homework. Yeah, I understand. Yep. So homework is a combination of the signs for home 
and work, like we already showed you. Mm -hmm. Home, work. Our next one is chores. So chores, this is also clean, yes, clean, clean. Yeah, so in our house, we sign chores like chores, I think I spelled it wrong, chores like this, chores, but it really, this means clean or clean up, but you can sign it. You tired? You ready for that nap? <laughs> so ready, she's so ready. <laughs> yeah. The next one is play. So you're just gonna make two Y hand shapes and she's gonna flip them back and forth. Play. That's a fun sign. Play. Our next one is play a game. So you're gonna sign play again like we did before, and then game, you're just gonna put two thumbs up and you're gonna bump them together. Game. It reminds me of like video games. Yeah, me too. Video games. Yeah, video. Yeah, video games or video games. You can sign it either way. Yep. Or video video game. There was other sign the other day I saw. Hold on. I don't know. I'll look it up later. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like to like collect signs just to like learn more. Just yeah. Just like this, I just pick them up wherever I can find them. They're just laying on the floor sometimes. I just, <laughs> that was a joke. Okay, all right. It's, it's fine, you don't have to laugh, it's fine. <laughs> all right, our next one is play outside. So again, we're signing play, just like before, play. And then outside is like, also like left or leave. Yeah, so outside is, so it's like two times outside is outside and then leave so leave or go is our one go leave the concept of being out out of somewhere so going or outside yeah. our next one is exercise exercise so you're just gonna grip your hands like this and then it looks like what what are they doing like they're at the gym and they're the bars. Yeah, the weighted bars and they're picking it up and yep, lifting it over their head. Exercise, yep. Yay. <laughs> Our next one is go for a walk. Yep, so go like we did before, go. And then this is your feet. They're just moving along. Yeah, walk or walk like this too. Walk or walk. Or you can do walk or walk. There's many. Yeah. Walk, 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 walk. Yep. A run. No, I don't. I don't want to run. Which one? <laughs> Our next one is bike ride. Yep. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna hold your hands here. Sorry. I'm remembering the other day I was showing the sign this and I was like you know it's like the handlebars and then I was like that's not what it looks like the handlebars yeah it doesn't it's it's your feet yeah and I was like I had this like aha aha moment I was like oh it's it's showing the feet not the hands but all this time I pictured hands yeah no. You don't do that. Feet. Yeah, your your feet move. So I just now that sign. Yeah, mind blown. Yeah, I, I told you we are still learning. So <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. But anyways, so sorry. Show them again. So this is bike or bicycle. And then when we're riding it, we're just putting our legs on either side and we're going. Oh, you can sign like this too. Like bike ride. Yeah. Bike ride. Yep. watch TV or a movie. So for watch, we're holding our hand like this. And for TV, it's just, you're spelling T and V in sign language, TV, and it's just kind of fast. Or movie, you're gonna put your non-dominant hand like this and your dominant hand is on top and it's just moving around, yeah. And I, I tend to sign like this, but you can do either way, see? Um, so for watch, do you remember what I've told people before how to remember watch? 
Click. What is it? Yeah, it's like a remote. Yeah, it helps me remember that sign. Is it looks like a remote down here or just up here? Watch. 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 Watch TV or watch a movie. Yep. All right. Our next one is internet. 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 Yep. Internet. <laughs> so we're taking your middle fingers, sticking them out, and then they're just touching together. Internet, internet. You might, you might be right, actually. Internet, internet. It might be a little bit different, but yeah. We'll check. <laughs> she signs internet. Yeah. Our next one is relax or relax like chill, kind of. So you're going to take your open hands and place them. It's almost like when you're laying down relaxing. I I don't picture it that way, but okay. yeah, you're you're right. Do you do you, re, do you relax like this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, so relax like this or like relax like chill or just kind of like the concept of just like oh, do whatever like yeah. And you need facial expression with that sign, right? If I'm relaxed like Look I look scared. Yeah, I don't seem or look relaxed. I say relaxed. Or relaxed. Okay. Yep, your eyes are kind of closed a little bit. Yep, you just you look relaxed. Look relaxed. All right, our last one for this section is practice. So you're gonna take your non-dominant hand with your index finger pointed out. You're gonna make an A hand shape with your dominant hand, and you're gonna say practice. Now wait, why are we talking about practice? Sports, yeah. So which sports? Hmm. Soccer, baseball, volleyball, swimming, just all of the different sports. Yeah. So often people after school or in the afternoon evening will go to practice. And so we thought, oh, we should add that. But yeah, depends on the kind of practice. It could also be like um like guitar practice, drums. Flute, yep, it just, like you said before, it just depends. Mm -hmm. All right, so for our last category, we're gonna do evening or night. And so how we're gonna sign this is your, like remember the sun is going down, so your non-dominant hand stays straight, your dominant hand just goes over and night or evening. <laughs> All right, so cook. Yep, so your non-dominant hand lays flat. Your dominant hand is just gonna flip back and forth. Cook. It looks like pancake, kind of, yeah. Pan well, pancake is like bigger. Pancake or pancake, depending on how you sign it. It's pancake, pancake, but yeah, cook is just, it's back and forth. Yeah, cook. <laughs> I think of it, I envision it like a pan, like a pan and I'm like moving, stirring, so I'm, I'm moving the food. I don't know, that's kind of what I think. I try to like associate all signs with like a visual so I can remember it easier and sometimes they make sense and sometimes they don't really. Like the bicycle, just <laughs> so wrong for 10 years, uh, whatever, it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I encourage you to try to connect it to something that will help you remember more. All right, our next sign is <laughs> set the table. Yeah, so you're going to sign set. So you're going to have your non-dominant hand flat and make a thumbs up with your dominant hand set. And then table, your dominant hand is on top and it's just like the surface of the table. So set the table and you can sign it either way. You can sign table set, which is really ASL, really, because ASL itself is like the topic and then the comment. So the table is my topic, my comment is set it. Or you can sign it the other way, set the table. Right. All right, our next one. Dinner. Yes, dinner. Yes, good job. So it's eating at night is dinner. She said, I thought, I, did you think I was gonna sign dinner? I thought you were gonna sign it wrong again, honestly. Just, I mean, so far, so far wrong, wrong, so it's okay, it's okay. It's not like you're teaching them or anything, right? 
<laughs> All right, sorry, keep going. All right, so our next one. Well, wait, show them dinner again. So food at night. So you're gonna make this hand shape. Dinner. So you're signing food at night, which is dinner. 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 It's a good time. <laughs> Our next one is out to eat. What does that mean, out to eat? Like a restaurant, yes. Or going to a friend's house. Yep. Well, really, actually, in English, the phrase out to eat typically means restaurant or like fast food. But yeah, we're going to a friend's house. We would just say going to a friend's house for dinner or eat at night. <laughs> yeah, but out, out to eat. Mm -hmm. Clean up like this. So non-dominant hand is flat and then dominant hand looks like you're sweeping. Yep, it's just kind of brushing it off. Yep, clean up. Our next one is shower. Sh shower, shower or nothing. It's just shower, <laughs> shower. And I saw today, I was watching a man, he signed shower. I've, I've always signed shower, but I was like, oh, shower, like the water is coming down. I was like, oh, that's cool. So shower, shower. shower. So your hand comes up here or it comes, or your hand, yeah, bounces this way or it comes down. And yeah, it's just showing the water coming down. Yeah. All right, our next one is bath. I wanted to say bath when I said shower before, and then I was like, wait, 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 that's the next one. <laughs> yeah. Yep, because they're different signs. So bath, bath. And it's like washing your body. Bath. So you're going to make it a hand shape, put it on your chest, and then just go up and down. Bath. Next one is pajamas. <laughs> That's our home sign for pajamas. She signed PJs. It's really pajamas. <laughs> duh. Oh my goodness. She's like, duh. Yeah. So pajamas is sleeping clothes. <laughs> and and I, in our home, we sign pajamas, cause PJs, cause people say PJs, so we sign PJs, but it's fine. So pajamas, or you can sign PJs in your home, that's fine too. Yes, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> so pajamas. <laughs> All right, next one is read a book. Yep. So your non-dominant hand is open and then your dominant hand makes like a two and it's like your eyes looking reading the words on the page and then book is like when you're opening a book so it just looks like opening a book and, and closing it really fast it would be hard to read it that way <laughs> yeah. books so reading books. Mm -hmm. next one is set your alarm mm -hmm. So again, we're signing set, like set the table. And then alarm, your non-dominant hand is flat, your dominant hand is gonna bounce. It's like a, like like yours, like a vibrating alarm. She said, it's like a vibrating alarm. So, and her, yeah, can you explain that? That's kind of cool, tell them. So deaf people can't hear, right? So what do we, what we do is we have an alarm that vibrates when we sleep to help us wake up in the morning. It vibrates what? <laughs> the bed it vibrates the bed <laughs> just completely forgot that word i think but yeah so it vibrates the bed so hers is under your pillow right but it's meant to vibrate the bed so that they feel it and wake up it's pretty cool So set your alarm. Mm -hmm. The next one is prayer. Yeah, prayer. Just like what you thought, probably. Prayer. I think all people sign this for prayer yeah. or pray. Prayer. Yeah. Yep. So you're gonna put your hands together like this. 
pray. Do they have to be like so dramatic? <laughs> no. no, we don't have to? Okay, good. <laughs> However you want to pray is fine in your home. You want to be more enthusiastic, that's fine. If you want to be simply prayer, that's fine too. <laughs> All right, our next one, get into bed. You just sign get into bed. Okay, yep, get into bed. So you're gonna, so it kind of looks like the blanket and you're just sliding your legs under into the blanket. Yep, get into bed. So don't hurt yourself. Did you say don't hurt yourself? Yeah, oh. <laughs> She said, yeah, because I hurt myself. <laughs> you're funny today. Yeah, get into bed. Yeah, don't, and don't hurt yourself. She like poked herself. It's it's just just gentle. Be nice. <laughs> All right. All right. The next one is lights out. So you're signing lights like this, just under your chin. It's kind of tapping, like flicking, and then the light. <laughs> don't be tough. Don't do it hard. Like don't 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 hurt yourself. Again, you have to be careful. Very careful. So and then these are the lights going off. So they're off. So what happens if they're on? The lights are on. Yeah, they're on. So lights are on, lights are off. Yep. It's, it's a rave. You don't even know what that means. It's okay, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> All right, bedtime. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna put your hands together like we did for prayer, and you're just gonna lay your head. So if you're right-handed, it's on this side. If you're left-handed, it's this side. That was cute. It's it's <laughs> like we practiced, but we didn't. It's, we we didn't practice, right? Yeah. Don't tell them the secrets. <laughs> so bedtime. Yeah. And this is the same for time. That this is that's bracelet. This is watch. This is time. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Time. Time. Yeah. And I mean, I would just sign bedtime. Bedtime. All right, next one is sleep. Yep, and you already know that one. Sleep, sleep, with your eyes closed, sleep. And our last one for today, snore. Yeah, snore. <laughs> it's like the noise, <laughs> she said, it's like the noise from your nose, I don't know. Yeah, it's your mouth and your nose, it's just like breathing loudly, snore, snore. She said, I snore. Yes, I snore. Yes, she was loud too. It's like she can't hear it or something. <laughs> Did you see my joke? Yeah. <laughs> she said, yes, no. She said, it's like you can't hear it or something. I snore. I love her. That's why I can make jokes. It's fine because I love her so much. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so snore. Snore. Our snore. Well, that's it for today. We hope that you guys watched and enjoyed this video. Um, and we will see, well, you will see us, us again soon. I got kind of in for hearing people, they say like tongue tied, like tongue tied, like it's hard to say two words <laughs> at the same time. That happened to me with signing. I got like hand tied. <laughs> I was trying to sign tongue. us tongue. and us and again, and it was like, again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened. Anyways, we will, you will see us again, us again in a week or two. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you later.